Oh, sweet fucking Jesus Christ. Heart rate's going through the roof right now. Perhaps you really weren't all talk. But you can't win. While we fought, the Grail was delivered to Mother. We couldn't stop it. Yes, we failed. We couldn't get past Ushiwakamaru. A huge number of Lamu has appeared again. So, so many. Uruk isn't in any state to handle this. So it's begun, huh? I must go then. I don't want to run out of things to kill. Now, should I destroy Uruk while its people try to fortify its little walls? Or play with the refugees trying to escape behind the northern wall? Either way, I'm abandoning this body. I have no interest in clinging to something so wounded. Farewell, survivors of Kialda. I commend your efforts in slaying me. Hollow victory though it is, death no longer holds meaning for me. Let's head back to Uruk, Master. Even if we don't make it in time, we can just stay here. We can't stay here. No. Y you're right, but holding my hand like that is helping. I th Wait, is helping? Hol holding my hand like that is helping. All right. Yes, good idea. I agree with Vane. And I'm sorry, I failed to stop the Lamu from escaping. No, it's not your fault. Nobody could have predicted something like that would happen. Yeah, fucking a chain of fucking constant noble phantasms? Gee, I can't imagine. <sighs> More importantly, we need to do what Vane said and head for the observation point. It's an emergency, but that doesn't mean we can run around blindly. First, we need to know what's going on. And we need to rest, if even only for a few minutes. You've been fighting this whole time. I want to at least get these two some rest in a room with a roof. Yes, of course. Good idea, Doctor. Yes? First, let's eat. Eat. Like the great Lucha announcers say, you can't get in the ring on an empty stomach, yes? Sure, why not? Ah, story mission. Unexpected, but grateful. You're late, Kialdeans. What happened? Tell me everything. K King Gilgamesh? I can see through you. So it's not quite perfect, huh? I thought it would be boring to copy Chaldea, so I attempted to make a more refined communication system. And it seems I didn't quite succeed. It's infuriating. But it is very good for something done in a rush, right? You have permission to praise my prowess as a mage. <laughs> wow, what is this? I can see them, Yao. Hey, Cuckoo, I'm right here. What's going on over there? Everything's in chaos here. Those Lamo attacked again, but this time, amazingly, we're kind of holding them off. His Majesty rolled out those big bows on the castle walls. 360 of them. Obviously, I prepared enough to repel an attack from any direction. They can hold off the Lamu for an hour or so. But the soldiers won't last any longer than that, nor will my magical energy. That's all I have to report. Now what about you fools? Ah! <laughs> Tiamat's got the grail. We're boned. <laughs> what were you people doing? What happened at Eridu? Hey, calm down, Gilgamesh. Listen, Kingu's heart was the grail. Tiamat was using the Grail as a power source to control what was left of Inkadu. Then Alamu took the Grail and threw it into the center of the Persian Gulf, which is where we are now. It's all my fault. Quetzalcoatl did it. Does that settle it? I think that settles it, right? Great. Then we're done talking about it forever. So do you have a plan? I'm open to ideas right now. Even yours. I see. That was... Sussanent? I don't know what that means. Quetzalcoatl, now let me tell you what I think. First, we got the results from the water analysis. The Black Sea Water is Tiamat's authority itself. Great! It infects those who touch it, and Tiamat's authority is copied into their cells and make, the, make them into her slaves. The Lamu were born from the mud of Tiamat. They probably aren't affected by it. But anyone else, servant or human, that touches that black mud will be absorbed by Tiamat. I see, so don't touch it. And if you have to touch it, touch as little as possible to protect yourself, meow. 
That's right, Mother, I mean Tiamat's authority includes self-modification, multiplication, and biofusion. Great. Fighting a Resident Evil monster. But her most powerful one is the... Amino Gies, or Cell Compulsion. Once they're inside that mud, it will darken any servant. Ishtar, you're here. Yes, I'm sorry I'm late, but I got Eridu back on its feet. The people are evacuated to the basement of Eridu's ziggurat instead of heading to Oruk. They can hole up in there for a day. Even Lamu can't break in there easily. A darkening mud, you say? I've never seen it, but what an annoying concept to deal with. Whatever. Second, the observation post not only recorded the water quality, but also the height of the water and waves. They observed an unusual water level. The moment the grail was stolen from you, the water started to rise by the minute. By my calculations, the observed observation post will be swallowed in three hours, and the Black Sea will overflow onto land. What we're going to see is something even worse than the Great Flood that once destroyed Mesopotamia. It'll be a black sea of mud that turns all life it touches into monsters. If that happens, Uruk and all of human history are finished. If Mesopotamia, the great civilization and basis for urban society, is turned into a world of monsters, the foundation of humanity will collapse. We won't let that happen. Doctor, give us a plan. Do you have one? You have one, right? I do, I do, but this is... It doesn't matter. Tell me. At the very least, I'll listen. Oh, fine. I'll tell you. I just observed a spirit origin signature at the center of the Persian Gulf. It's a holy grail with an ultra, ultra, ultra class magical reactor core with more than seven times the magical energy of a grail. There's no doubt that this is the primordial demonic beast who birthed the world of Mesopotamia. The spirit origin belongs to Tiamat. If this calamity, this sea, is Tiamat's authority, our only solution is to defeat Tiamat herself. Oh, we only have to kill a primordial god. No sweat! Whoa! I figured this atmospheric shaking was the after effect of Mother coming to the surface. It may be that slaying Tiamat and destroying her spirit origin would stop the mud, but is that possible? She's on a completely different level than the demon gods you've fought before. Are you willing to do it anyway, Vaini Zanagi? Do I have a choice? Well said. I will work with that plan then. I can't send you reinforcements, but don't worry about Uruk. Bring me Tiamat's head. That means my winged serpents would be on mounts. If only we had a flying golden ship, that would sure be nice. Ah. <laughs> uh, subtle nod. So we'll approach with the serpents. I think Simpai should command from here. There's risk that the water could touch you during combat, and if you were to fall into the sea... Impossible! How can servants win without a master? The further, the further a servant is from their master, the less efficient the magical energy transfer. And you'll need the command spells too. Mash, the time to prioritize your master's safety over all else is long past. Right, Vane? Yup. That's right, Master Vane Izanagi. I'm sending you out knowing the danger. Then it's decided. Vane is coming even if we have to chain them to a flying serpent. The problem is what to do when the Lamu attack in route. I'll be okay, but what about the others? You'll have to use the combat tactic Jaguar Man suggested. Put up a barrier of magical energy on your feet and fight atop the water. An experienced servant can do that easily. What about you, Mash? Have you ever done that? I haven't, but I'll do my best. If there's any trick to it, please let me know. There's no time, fool, but it's the king's duty to aid such... Aid such courage in a time of need. I thought this might happen, so I hid a water-repelling talisman in that observatory point. Observation point, whatever. I call it a water strider. If it's just you, it should keep the water away so you won't fall in. You're pretty handy, aren't you? Are you sure you're not better suited as a mage than you are a warrior? I'm ready for any situation. Well, maybe not Lancers. Go then, Vane of Kialda, Mash, and the survivors of the Three Stooge <laughs> Goddess Alliance. Your enemy is the primordial creature called Tiamat, the one who birthed the Lamu, the very source of demonic beasts. Oh. So only a god. All right.
Yeah, no, cool. I, yeah, no, no problem. I'm only sending you to murder a goddess. How hard could it be? <laughs> oh god, there's way too many classes now. Uh, all right, we're just gonna do what all what we always do. That's good. All right, some AOEs by my side. We can blow through them, hopefully. More and more Lamu are surfacing. We need to stop the unending demonic beast factory fast. They're not responding to us. They must have dull senses right uh, when they come out of the water. They're only capable of carrying out simple orders like go to the surface or kill the old humans. But that's just for now. As time passes, their consciousness will synchronize with the others and they'll be like the ones we saw at Eridu. Sheesh, they finally grow up and gain individuality, but then they go back to a colony. All our efforts were for nothing. Those things aren't the new humanity. They're just soulless tools. In the name of the goddess, me, I will destroy them all, yes? Everyone, they're here. Multiple enemies, Lamu and Demonic Beasts. We're almost offshore. Take them out quickly. Can do. Alright. God damn it, I didn't want to use that. Got no choice now, though, unfortunately. Alright, well. Ow. Should probably take care of him first. Ah. There we go. I swear to God, if you kill my servants, I will bring down the wrath of God on your head. Alright, what's next? Oh good, big enemies. Uh, not good. Okay. Uh, let's stun one of them for the time being. There we go. Actually, I don't know why. I, I think I accidentally attacked the one I just stunned. Yeah, I did. Damn. Which is not what I wanted to do. Mm, let's see. What can I do? I know what I can do. I can do this. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Well, ah. All right, your turn to shine. Ugh. 
There we go, that was some good damage. Actually, uh, hmm. Yeah, there we go. Just remember, though you die, La Resistance lives on. God, I think up next is Emiya. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Emiya. Not that I don't appreciate you being here, but uh, swap with Jalter, otherwise you're going to get your ass kicked. God, I hate having big-ass fingers. Finish this. I didn't actually think that was going to kill him. I'm kind of glad it did, though. <sighs> I'm going to get high blood pressure from playing this. Jesus. <laughs> 